The way I kind of uh, got introduced to coffee was through, you know, I worked in the hospitality business. I was a chef. I worked like with management of restaurants and things like that. And that was in the early 90s where coffee was kind of, it was a product that people didn't really know too much about and compared to, you know, wine and all the other raw materials you're using in the kitchen like meat or vegetables or whatever, you had a lot of information and stories around, you know, where they were produced, how they're like processed and, and all that stuff. I didn't want to be a restaurant owner or anything, so I just uh, searched the market and and applied for work just out of the blue for one of the leading suppliers in Norway at that time. From almost from day one, we started to travel to origin and meet producers. I felt like I almost become religious because uh, it was like, a, first of all, you, you felt that there's so much to this supply chain that have to be told to people. You were able to actually connect on the producer level and follow the product all the way to the consumer. When I'm visiting a farm, for instance, a new farm where um, I'm having an intention of, uh, of buying coffee, or it can be an existing producer that have more potential than what we see in the, in the cup quality today. I really enjoy to have that kind of dialogue with them on what we can do together to increase, first of all, the flavor attributes and the quality according to my preferences, but also what can be beneficial for them so they can get, for instance, better premiums for their, for their coffees. And uh, very often they're curious because they know there are things going on in other countries that could benefit their product or benefit uh, you know, their, their premiums in terms of what they're getting paid. And very often they are, they are interested in investing in that. But to invest in that, they need someone that commits to buy the, to buy the coffee because taking on you know, taking a risk of changing your process or investing in, uh, in more facilities at your mill, it can be a big risk if nobody is buying the coffee afterwards.